Let your name be glorified. Thank for the anointing to teach and to preach. Thank for revelation of your word. Thank you for power to comprehend, grace to do, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for confirming your word with signs and wonders following. Blessed be your name, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Yeah. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. Okay, before you take your seat, greet your neighbor warm letter, then you're happy to see them. God bless you, Jubas. Thank you. Greet them warmly. And tell them, please do not sleep. Hallelujah. Beg them that please, we beg you, try not to sleep. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know that you are not, um, how do I put it to you? If, uh, well, I'm trying to, to moderate it from my, you know, in my mind. So it doesn't come out in the wrong way. Uh, you know you are not entitled to be rich if you don't walk the principles of the kingdom. A lot of people think that, um, you know, just being called, being anointed, being doing this or doing that or everything, or being engaged in the right yeah, or something will make you have money. No. You must practice the principles of the kingdom. Is somebody hearing me? Engage the principle of the kingdom. Um, it's incumbent on you to find out what the principles are and practice it. Glory be to God forevermore. But today, I'm taking it. No, I started a teaching two weeks ago, right? On Timmy the Tongue, right? I'm going to, uh, I'll continue that next week. Because there's something I want to quickly share with you, just a very small stuff, and then we'll take our time to pray. Glory be to God forevermore. I'm trusting God, because a lot of people, they work hard, they try this, they try that. But it's good to work hard, it's good to do all those things. But sometimes in life, eh, you need what I call, you need a break. You need that, you just, everybody in life needs that little break. That thing I called, I, some people call it a break. I call it just an opportunity. Just so you need an opportunity or something in life that age. You need it. If you don't have opportunity in life, eh, no matter what you carry, no matter how hard you try, you will just be living at a certain, a certain level. Look, I don't doubt your ability. I don't doubt that you are. You work hard, but you need that, that opportunity yes, sir. to showcase and take advantage of that. Glory be to God forevermore. Yes, yes. Whew, Father, thank you. Go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Please, all those who are working, working outside, tell them to come in now. They don't have time. I saw a lot of people passing, passing like that. Some of them, I've, I've seen them through the window again. See, they're going like this. Don't worry, I've seen them pass like The boy said, we're not hearing what I'm saying. I've seen them, I've seen them passing, I saw them through the window again. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. He 
Is this, is this chapter 9, Abi? Uh, verse 10. Verse 10. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No, I beg you not to, I beg you not to sleep, right? Uh, because I don't intend to shout today. I just be going gradually. So, uh, you know where a pastor is not shouting? Some of you have demons. You will just sleep. So look at what it says here. Whatever your hand finds to do, what do you do? Do it. With what? Follow me gradually, brothers and sisters. Please, follow me. This is a level in life. It's a level of whatsoever. Whatever your hand finds to do. Yeah, here, eh? you have not entered your calling. This is the level of whatever your hand finds to do. Some people, they don't want to do this. They don't want to do this. They don't want to find, the hand doesn't want to find anything. They, they are still waiting for that phantom. When I, when I hit, when I hammer, the hammer will hammer you. Are you hearing me? This is the first level. If you really want to prosper, this is the first level. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with what? With your mind. For there is no work, no device. Or what? Or knowledge, or wisdom in the grave where you are going. He's telling you that is the end of every man. So time is going. Please tell your neighbor, stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it. We are rushing towards exit. I'm begging every one of you. All this waiting, you know, when I, was a, when I was young, a prophet came to our house and carried me and declared, you, O light of nations, thou shalt shine on top of the hill. That's a rock. Listen to me. You are wasting time. Everybody's rushing towards the grief. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it what? With all your mind. For there is what? No work or device. Or device means planning. There's no planning or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Nobody says bread in the grave. <laughs> Say, no, I want to start bakery. <laughs> bakery. <laughs> oh, big apologies to Edan Baya. But I'm serious. No, <laughs> nobody starts bakery in the, in the grave. Nobody starts fashion design in the grave. For who? Don't talk to that boy. Nobody banks in the grave. Say so the central bank of the grave. Who where? where? Listen to me. Nobody designs beauty in the grave. You, there's no church in the grave. Say so gather together. I want to evangelize to you. <laughs> in the grave, there's no planning, no device. I believe I'm speaking to somebody here this morning. No more degree to obtain in the grief. No more research to be done. In the grief where we are all headed, are you hearing me? So I'm charging you right now, whatever your hand finds to do, do it now. Tell your devil to do it what? Now. This is a level with all, and it is a do it because some of you do things like this. Let me just try it. No, it's a do it with all your might. Do it with what? All your mind. Because it's about to now introduce another dimension. It's about to introduce another thing now. Because some of you, if you don't do what you are supposed to do with all your mind, that thing I told you, call a break. Opportunity will not come. So this is the foundation for verse 10. For verse 11, sorry. This verse 10 is foundation for verse 11. Look at now what, 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 what it now says. Hallelujah. Everybody will Hallelujah. He says, Then I returned and saw under the sun. Look at what it says right now. There are what? The race is not to this. If you are looking for title of today, title it time and chance. Wow. That is the title of today. Time and chance. That's why I say God is going to give somebody a break here. 
Somebody will give you time and chance for you to do that thing that God has put your heart. There's time and chance. So the first level of taking advantage of time and chance is what? Do all you have to do with all your power. Every opportunity to do something. And don't attempt. Do it with all your might. Hallelujah. Because it's in doing that stage one that this stage two of chance and, uh, time and chance will come. Look, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Eh? Look, guys, you are, I love young people and I love talking to young people. Listen, you can tell those who will succeed who will, who, and those who will fail. It's not, uh, it's not magic. Just look at their attitude towards what they are doing now. Yeah. It's simple. Yes, I ret- and I returned and saw under the sun that what? The race is not to this. Uh, who, whoever is in the, it's on the console over there, the, those of you in the, uh, the, in the is it comic crew, don't change this. You can be showing me here and here. Don't show anything. Just leave the scripture here. We are going to work on this for some time. Is that all right? I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not what? And what? And the battle to the strong. No bread to the what? To the wise. No riches to men of understanding. No favor to the men of skill. But what? Time and chance happen to what? Brothers and sisters. He mentioned five things that would likely make a man who is doing verse 10 to succeed. Somebody who is working with all their might. He said there are five things that can make you succeed. He said, number one, you must be swift. He's not condemning being swift. He's not condemning it. He's not, not saying, don't, don't be swift. No, he's not condemning you for being swift. He wants you to be swift. But he only saying that swift, being swift is not enough. He's not saying, the way Bible said the rest is up to the swift. It doesn't mean you should not slow down and say, I'm not going to do anything. But after all, you see so your age mates doing making moves. You say, no, the rest is not to the swift. You are deceiving yourself. He is identifying critical factors that will make that makes a man succeed. That's what he's doing there. Tell your neighbor, say, tell them, say, be swift, be swift. Be a fast thinker. Are you hearing me? Faster than the bullet. Are you here? <laughs> You need to be fast. Some people, some people are not fast. You are too base. You gotta be fast. Ah, when you look at some, some things, you have, you you have look at the figure, look at everything. You see your profit. You have seen everything. You see your losses. You have everything. You decide. Okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do that. You are fast. Some of you, you will take decision. Oh, what did they say the thing has closed. Tell your neighbor, be fast, be fast. You need to be swift. You need to be swift. Ah, you need to be swift. It's not condemning being swift. It's just saying that that's not the only thing you need. You need to be fast. Are you hearing me? You need to be able to calculate 10 years, 15 years. Okay, if I continue to go like this, how will I end? You are already there. Be fast. Is somebody hearing me right now? You need to be fast. Ah. Am I speaking well this morning? You need to be fast. You just come quickly, quickly. You do your everything. You know the stuff to remove. You know what to be. You know what to change. You know what to. Uh, you need to be fast. Hallelujah. I hear that say, girl, you need to toast. Do it fast. I want to make fun of somebody. Who is, I want to make fun of somebody. It's best he's here today. I'm not, mention, I'm not going to mention his name. No, no, I'm not mentioning anybody's name. It's a critical matter. He <laughs> came to me sometimes ago. He said, Pastor T, they, they are, who, who do you think I can marry? So we, we're just talking. So I now pointed the girl to her. I said, this girl, I like her because she's very consistent. She's, and I've never seen her in the middle of any quarrel. Mm. Are you hearing me? Look, look. There's no point marrying somebody who's quarrelsome. Bible says it's better to dwell alone somewhere around Gogalada on the way to Kalujuwe. <laughs> Just that to be saying the same in a big house with a quarrelsome woman. 
Because it's always because why did the Bible always talk about a quarrelsome man? Have you thought about it? No, no, have you thought about it? Why you? All of you use this guess. Which is a wizard. Let's go. Let's leave that alone. So, and I said, this girl is very gen- is consistent, peaceful. I've never met her quarter. Never. She's just, I observe her just like that. I said everything. So, she didn't, he didn't do anything. He came back to me last week. The person is here in this service. So, uh, so yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> So, somebody will say, Pastor Tim, one of the time, another pastor that he will use people to preach. Am I pastor any animals? <laughs> who, who will I use to preach? You say, <laughs> you say, not people. I don't have cow, I don't have anything. What the, what the, you say, not my experience, I will use to preach. I better get out. Let's go on. <laughs> so, I didn't mention your name. Except you go and tell somebody that you are the one I'm talking about. Nobody will do. <laughs> I don't even look at your direction. I don't joke talking generally. Nobody will know, except you, me, and God. <laughs> Nobody knows. So, we are talking. So, he now came back. He said, uh, Pastor Tia is that girl. I said, which girl? I said, she's getting married in December. <laughs> he wasn't swift. <laughs> he said, which girl? This December, by the grace of Almighty God, I'm joining them. Yeah. I am the one joining them. <laughs> by this December. He shall Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we are joining them. This December is coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The swift yeah. is good for you. The fast. Number two. He says, and what? The battle, you know the battle was to the strong. In order to succeed. Like, remember what I preached last week. Upstairs, be strong. In the race of life, you got to be what? Be strong. Small thing, how much some of you will nearly have mental breakdown. What is wrong with you? Be strong. He said, no bread to what? To the wise. Wisdom will help you to succeed. I'm telling the factor for success. So, Number one is what? Swift. Number two, be strong. Number three, be wise. These are factors for success. Wisdom. Number what? Four. Understanding. Nourish is to men of what? Of understanding. My God. I love that one. Brothers and sisters. Hmm. Let me just be watching my time. Is that all right? I want to say something briefly there. Honestly, talking with a lot of people. Hmm? Talking with a lot of people. Wisdom is not our problem. A lot of us wise. Honestly. I'm not talking with a lot of people. Wisdom is not our problem. You know where our problem is? Understanding. And two of them are different. You understand? The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. We thought you're getting get wisdom. Uh, we thought, no, wisdom is the principal thing. You don't know. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. If it was, if it were the same, we don't say go and get understanding at all cost. Because what's he saying that at all cost, God get understanding. Because if you are wise without understanding, you will still not make it. Brothers and sisters, you will bear me witness, sir, that you must have a good understanding of how, how financial world runs. In order to be, to, to be successful in financial work, you must have a good understanding of how business works in order for it to work for you. Some people say, it's, 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 they are not anointed. They are anointed, but they don't have a, an understanding of how church runs, how ministry runs. They are different. Is somebody hearing me right now? Kai. Is some people say, you don't have capital. You have capital, you have money, but you don't have understanding. Do you know the problem we have in Africa, in Nigeria? Understanding. That is why a Lebanese will enter Nigeria with nothing. Within two years, they have 
everywhere they have captured it, they are billionaires, they have understanding of how the system works. Is somebody hearing me right now? That's why some people all day will come to Abuja with his portfolio. Before you know it, they are now, they, they have this property, they are doing this, they are doing that, they are doing that. Understand. That's why a lot of businesses fail. You go to an open restaurant. Do you understand how restaurant runs? It's not that you are not wise, you are wise, but you need understanding. Is somebody hearing me this morning? Here? And may God grant you understanding now. Our leaders lack understanding. So I will go and table my case before the people. We will mobilize people. <laughs> you, are, you are working with wisdom. But there's also something that's called what? Understanding. Whew, Father, help us this morning. That's why I beg you not to sleep. Don't sleep. Because you can't preach this kind of thing shouting. Get understanding. Ha! Mm. You won't get understanding that way. <laughs> Some of you want to rush to marry. You must understand how marriage works. Because it's a different devil at that level entirely. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please touch on him and say, have understanding, have understanding, have understanding, have understanding, have mm. understanding. There are certain things, if you have understanding, you will not be doing. Do you know that once you have understanding of something, you do not be afraid of that thing? Mm. You will never be afraid of it. If they bring dead body, you are wrong. But doctors will just go there and turn, turn, turn. Ah, no, 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 no. Everything. They, they, you know what? They have understanding that dead bodies don't bite. They don't bite. They have death with many. Understanding. Kai. Am I helping anybody here to do right now? He said what? No riches to what? To men of understanding. No favor to men of what? Skill. In order to succeed in life, you also need what? Skill. If you are employed to do something, you cannot do it well. Without skill, they will sack you. Thou shall be sacked. <laughs> you will be dejobulated. That is, the job will be taken away. It's called dejobulation. <laughs> you will be dejobulated. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, it now says, as good as these factors are. Let's go over the factors again. Number one, what? Yeah. Number two, strength. Number, number three, yeah. number four, number five, white right? Skill. It says, as good as all these things are, there is something that's called time and chance. That means we may have all of these things as it not succeed. And so, that's why I came this morning. To pray for you. That God, may God give you that time and that chance. How many of you know, some of you will not be working where you are even working. Even though that somebody you are, you know, you know how life works now. Okay, please, please give me this in in, in, in living translation so that you understand that time and chance. No, NLT, who is there? Please, thank you, NLT. Are you there? Please, I'll wait for them. Okay. Yeah, it's already there. I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. Okay. This, uh, okay, you didn't finish all now. It's, uh, it's short. Okay, let's, let's go over here. Okay, the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry. The skillful are not necessarily worthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. It is all divided by what? By chance. By being what? In the right place at the right time. 
By being what? In the right place. I pray for you. I pray for you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Anybody can succeed you. Being at the right place at the right time. Father, I give you praise. May something happen for you that will position you in life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the goodies are going on and when the opportunities are showing up, may you be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about opportunities generally this morning because if I'm, if I'm to preach about opportunity, it will take us series. I will do series on it. Because sometimes opportunities don't come the way you think they will come. They come dressed in different forms. You may not even know it's opportunity. But the one I'm focusing on this morning is that time and chance. Being at the right place at the right time. It's a spiritual move. It's a spiritual orchestration that no man can work it out. It's a spiritual dynamic that is it's impossible. How do, you, how do you work yourself out to be at the right place at the right time? Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? You can't, it's not what a woman being can work out. Sometimes we might even decide, okay, I have a better opportunity, I will take, we take that job, but I will take that job, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a first job. But do you know somebody can come, ah, uh, Tom, that this thing, you know, I think it will be okay for you. Okay, call this my friend. I heard of this opportunity. But he wasn't thinking about that opportunity until he saw you. He now remembered. Until he saw you, he will now remember. There are many people that are in our life right now that we didn't plan to meet. We just, somehow, somehow. Time and chance. Some people, you have experienced a little of this. Some people, you have never experienced this. And some people, you are about to experience more of it. Yeah. But at whatever, at whatever level you are, may time and chance. Yeah. You don't need everybody. You don't need every place. That's, you don't need every place. You may go to Canada and that's not your place. Just, it's not your time. It's not the right time. It's not the right place for you. Yes, not the right place. Some of you, God wants to be in Canada 2030. You're already going there right now. It's not time. It's not yet time. Time and chance. You know why that, why, why that is important? If you go there right now, every good thing that God has for you here, you miss it. Is somebody hearing what we're talking about right now? Glory be to God forevermore. Please be seated. Let me, let me just read something for you. Let me read something for you as we, as, we, as, we, as we round up this morning. Because when we talk about this time and chance, you know, for some of you, you don't even know that. Father, I give you praise. I'm trying to, that's why I beg you not to sleep. Because, listen to me. Hmm? Do you know the person sitting next to you could be your time and chance? It could just be. We say, greet your neighbor. Oh, you, this, are you touching your face? <laughs> no, is somebody here what I'm talking about right now? No, now, why is it that when you woke up in the morning and you prayed and you came to church, that was the person God placed beside you to sit? Mm. Time and chance. Sometimes God will be prompting your heart to tell the person what you do. You look at them. They didn't dress well. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. This one go feed you for my life. Waiting, I beg. The girl sit down. Yeah, make a, the brothers and sisters. It may not be them directly. It may be who they know. Yeah. 
Please tell your neighbor, say, stop being nasty. 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 Time and chance, time and chance, time and chance. Somebody hearing me right now. Time and chance, time and chance, time and chance. Some of you don't mind to offend people. See, when you offend people, you have offended about 100 people. Because you don't know how many people they know, they know, they know that they know that they know. They know, they know. You think that, no, 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 it's just mayor. And I made them go and sit down. You don't know who mayor knows that knows mayor that knows. So with that singular move, you have offended about 100 people. Time and chance. Galatians 6, 9. Let me read something for you. And then we'll pray. Ooh, Father, I give you praise. Let us not grow weary while doing what? Good. Let us not do, go weary while what? While we are doing good. For in due season, we shall what? Read. If we do not what? Look faint. Look at the next line. Look at the next line. Therefore, as we have what opportunity, let us do what? Do good to all, especially those of the household of faith. Do you see it now? Don't be nasty. Do good. You don't know how it will play out. Kai, have I helped anybody here this morning right now? As my time winds down this morning, I trust God for every one of you. That somehow, somehow, your opportunity will come. Yeah. To do job for the right set of people. Yeah. To work with the right set of people. That the right doors will be opened for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. That in the name of Jesus Christ. Not too long from now. This will be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what he said. Thank you Lord Jesus. 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 Listen brothers and sisters. I beg you. A lot of people are looking for things far and searching wide. Who knows whether what you're looking for could be close to you? It's called what? Time and chance. So it's good to be skillful. It's good to be swift. It's good to be wise. It's good to be strong. It's good to be a man of what? Understanding. But in the midst of all this, keep your eyes open for time and chance. Believe God actively for it. Some of you don't even know that that, that time they sacked you was your opportunity. Yeah. 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 You don't even know. You will be fighting and be angry and be bitter for years. No. No. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 6 as I round up. I, I couldn't really get to where I'm going this morning. But I hope you got something right. Yes. Hmm. I, I just want to do a one-off. See, see my notes. It's not anything. I just, I just wrote two lines down. Time and chance. All of us watching, on, all of us watch, watching online. May your time and chance come. Some of you don't even know how powerful you are until chance comes. Yes, Listen to me. Look, David was just a shepherd boy. Oh. David was a shepherd boy. Bible says he was not even qualified to go to the battle. Bible says his three elder brothers were in the battle with Saul. Meanwhile, Saul has sent him back. You are good at music, but go back home. They were not looking for a strong man. They were looking for someone that could play music and the king will become sane. And it was, that was all they knew him for. Then one day the father said, 
please come and take food to your brothers in the battle. And please let me check how they are welfare, how they are faring. And it happened as he got there, Goliath was boasting. Goliath was, doesn't talk all day. He only shows up in the morning to harass people. And it happened that it was the same time that he got there, that time and chance. And you know something? Listen to me. He spoke to the boy kept asking, what shall be until the king heard? The king quaff said, are you okay? No, no. Do you think we are here to play Kalo Kalo? Do you think we are playing Ludo here? I close my eyes before I open up. You better disappear. The king, listen to the point that the king got convinced. convinced. He said, you know what? Go. The Lord God be with you. Somebody's going to give somebody a chance here today. Amen. Listen to me. The kings will give you a chance. The queens of the land will give you a chance. Hallelujah. They knew you to be doing this kind of business. But somehow they're going to give you a chance in another option, in another business. I, I've been seeing you in this neighborhood for a long time. What do you do? I, do? Oh, no, no. I think you can do this. Do you think you can do this? Time and chance. David was going to give food for and go back. But that was journey to greatness forever. Journey to greatness forever. Time and chance. All that steps. I came here to work. I came here to earn salary. It could be a journey to destiny for you. Is somebody here what I'm talking about right now? Time and chance. Glory be to God forevermore. May every challenge you are going through. Shall I come back with the second part of this message next week? Time and chance. You are just going to give bread, though. I just came to... <laughs> I, can't, I can never forget telling the story of Okocha, the footballer. You know, his brother was a footballer. Ima Okocha. He was a footballer. He was, he was used to play somewhere in Lego, but not, uh, I think, play for all local. But he went to greet his brother in Germany. Who was playing for, I think, I can't remember, I can't remember. His brother was playing professional. He went to say, spend all the day with his brother. So while the brother was going for training, he went for the brother. So they were just, he just, yeah, he played my brother plays too. So everything. So uh, let him train with the guys. Then they saw Ski. He never came back to Enugu Rangers. <laughs> Are you hearing me? He was not the player. Time and chance. I've always told you guys, these people who are known are not the best. They are the ones that had what? That time and that chance. So this morning, I pray for everybody here. What is it that you really want to do with your life? No, no, tell, be, be answering God, be telling God as I'm talking to you now. What is it that you really want to do with your life? Be telling God, be talking to God. Time and chance is coming. Time and chance. What is that you, what, in which area do you need a break? Tell him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my brothers and my sisters. The Lord will visit you. Time and chance will happen to you. Be at the right place at the right time will be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sir, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty 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 name of Jesus. May every limitation of your life be broken. 
every limiting factor, everything that edges you in, may they be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that whatever hinders, whatever limits you, may that thing by nature eject you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has hindered you, has limited you, may that system by itself eject you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Time and chance. You are good. It's not as if you are not good. You are skillful. But there's something called time and chance. Most of what we do today is not what they set out to do. Somebody will just say, ah, come now. You can, you can, you can, before you know you are, you are there. Father, we give you praise. Mm, you will not live by struggle. Amen. Skill is good. Understanding is good. Being swift is good. Being strong is good. Being a man of, um, being wise is good. But there's something called, being favored is good. But there's something called time and chance. And this week, as this year races to the end, may everybody present here experience one time and chance in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. There's somebody here. I don't know who you are. There's a short listing going on in your office. For promotion, it's not for sack. For promotion, short, short listing. They want to just who, who, who would they include? And uh, we have been trying your best to be there. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Your name will be on that list. Mark my word. Are you the one? Okay, I don't know who you are, but anybody you are. Your mark my word. Your name will be on that list. Not because you struggle, not because somebody will just wake up. No, no, put his name there. Put our name there. You know why? The Bible says God reigns in the affairs of man. I give you praise, King of Kings. I honor your holy name this morning. Thank for the testimonies coming. I give you praise and I honor you. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Yeah. Are you happy you came to church this morning? Yeah. Let's celebrate God. There remains a rest for the people of God to enter. Step out of the nest, spread your wings and soar, surrender. Epignosis, concise knowledge.